Minecraft is having a mob vote, which means one of these three mobs will be added to the next big Minecraft update. But there is one problem. I don't know who to vote for. If only there was a way to see each mob in game so I could make a rational and informed decision before casting my vote. Oh wait, there is. Today, I'm gonna build a giant replica of all three mob options so I can decide which one is the best. All in Minecraft hardcore. So first up, we're gonna build the crab, who is for some reason blue. Are crabs even blue in real life? Huh. I guess they are blue. So that means we gotta get some blue materials for this bad boy. Perhaps some wool? Question mark smiley face. And it also looks like he has a white belly and orange claws. So I'll take some of this and maybe some of this. Well, if I had any. BRB! <laughs> And that should be good. So the cool thing about the mob vote this year is that all the mobs are actually adorable. Unlike in previous years where they were very much weird and not lovable at all. Yeah, I'm looking at you, you cave goblin thing. But this year, all the mobs actually look good. So I don't care who wins as long as it's the one I want, you know? Which may or may not be the crab. So let's build him. Okay, we're gonna try our very best here. So let's make the legs like this. And then up here, we're gonna make his little blue body. So we'll go like up by one and then bring this across like that. And then here in the front, we have the big white belly, right? Okay, it kind of looks like Sonic the Hedgehog if he was flattened by a car. But I also kind of see the vision here. But I'm gonna need some more blocks. Okay, give me some light blue wool, some orange wool, and maybe a few of these mushroom stem blocks. Guys, trust me, I have a vision. Okay, so if I just sprinkle in a little bit of extra color here and there, and maybe change some of this dark blue to light blue... All right, now we're cooking. That looks so much better. Now I just got to cover up his belly and I got to somehow make him eyes. So how do you make crab eyes? I need some black wool. Hey, stupid. Yeah. Come here, you. And whoop pow. Okay, check it out. Ready? We're going to break this here and we're going to go black eyes, little eye white part. And you know what I mean, right? And some crab lip things there. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm no crab expert, but I think homie- I'm, I'm in a cave. I think homie's looking pretty swag. And with the crab's body out of the way, all that was left was to build the giant claws. I really just don't understand why this crab is blue, but his claw is orange. I don't get the science behind it at all. And the verdict says... Whoa. I mean, it looks really dumb, but that's exactly how the claw looks. So maybe I'm calling Minecraft's crab dumb, but it looks realistic to what Minecraft wanted it to look like. This is kind of my way of subtly roasting Mojang. Love you guys. But obviously, I'm not just building the crab just to look at. The whole purpose of the mob vote is to vote on the features that the crab brings. According to Mojang, the crab will drop a crab claw, which can be used for extended building reach. Okay, so how can I display further building? Building reach. Ah! Uh, all right, hear me out. Hear me out. So if I go inside the claw, let's pretend that this piston is like the extended reach, right? And this end rod here can be like the pickaxe. So if I do this a bunch of times, that's like me reaching further. <laughs> I now realize what this looks like. But I'm just gonna keep it because I need to have a function for the crab. So, <laughs> awkward segue. Now, something else I really want to do for these mobs is build them a biome. Just like a little diorama. So each of the mobs can be like living in their home. You know what I mean? And according to Mojang, the crabs would be spawning in the mangrove swamp. But I think this is kind of stupid because why would crabs be in the mud? Oh, I guess there are mud crabs, but I don't care. It's my world. And in my my world crab spawn at the beach sand mining montage So my plan for this is actually really simple. We're gonna do a little bit of terraforming, make a little exhibit using stone bricks and chains, kind of like a museum kind of vibe. And last but not least, make the actual mob's biome by his feet, which in this case will just be a whole bunch of sand. And as I build this crabby boy a sandy beach, please subscribe and hit the bell. And just like that, mob number one is complete. Hey, Mr. Spider, you should vote for the crab because he's also an arthropod. Science.
Well, now you can't vote. That's what you get for being dumb. But now it's time to move on to Minecraft's second mob option, the armadillo. Now this guy is going to be very interesting. As you can see from this picture here, it's a lot of orange and brown and just not a lot of blocks that Minecraft has a lot of. So we're going to have to get creative with this one. And our first pit stop will be at the Mesa biome because I see a lot of orangey blocks that look armadillo-ish. Oh yeah, this is the stuff. The orange, the normal, maybe a little bit of brown. Okay, that should be good. But we're also gonna need some pinkish blocks to account for the armadillo's face and nose and such. So I'm thinking we do a little bit of pink terracotta and maybe a smidge of mangrove wood, AKA the medium rare steak block. I can never unsee it. Okay, so for the armadillo, I think his feet should be at the bottom. Well, obviously. But I'm thinking they should be pink and maybe have like jungle wood as like his toenails. We're getting really specific today. And of course, he needs four feet. Otherwise, that'd be kind of weird. Now in comes the body. So I'm going to do a combination of terracotta and brown mushroom block just to kind of make like the shell color. And I'm pretty much just going to raise this up like 10 blocks and make a giant armadillo shell. Also, are armadillos supposed to be like an insect or are they a Mammal, what are they? Kids, stay in school. Okay, hear me out. It looks like a loaf of bread, but I actually think it looks good for an armadillo. Like we got all the different colors of orange and brown and we have these like spiky things for the different layers on the shell. Do armadillos have tails? I feel like they do. Okay, cool. Ow. Hey, 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 hey. I have no food, stop it. I'm not dying on mob vote day. Or am I? No, I'm not. But alrighty, now all we gotta do is make the armadillo's head, which I saved for last because I have no idea what they even look like in the face. I imagine it being kind of like a badger or a dog kind of thing. So we're gonna go with that. Right after I get some food, because again, not trying to die today. Ow. Thank you, Mr. Chicken. Oh my gosh, unrelated, but last episode I built that giant sky city and it just looks so cool. Not trying to brag, but I'm the best. Okay, so if his legs are pink, his face should probably be pink too, because that's like his complexion. So this is his nose, and the bottom can have like lighter colors, because science. And there's a skeleton inside of the armadillo for some reason. Can you please knock it off? Now we're going to use black wool for the eyeballs and put some armored plating, like the shell, up on top of his eyes like that, kind of. Just bear with me here, folks. And... Oh, no, just, <laughs> just no. I think he's missing something, like maybe some ears or whatever whatever armadillos have on their body. Let's try some ears. Hey, you know what? That's actually not terrible now. The ears made it look kind of good. Well, all right, guys, there's the armadillo. Now we just got to figure out what his feature is. And according to the internet, he makes dog armor? Okay, I kind of like that. Let's go make some dog armor. Okay, first off, where are my dogs? Not a dog, not a dog. Not a dog. Uh, anybody in my barn? Yes, I have dogs still. You, come with me. So tell me, what is the purpose of dog armor? That's a dumb question because you know the answer. It's to make the dogs more overpowered and have more health. So if I use some potions, it's kind of like dog armor. Okay, so we're going to make a little secret ladder system up here into the armadillo. Can he... Use ladders? No. All right, buddy, come on. Up the ladder. Come on. I believe in you. Come on. All right, fine. Be lazy. Come up this way. All right, good. Stay. Now we go dispenser. Lever and fill this thing up with tons of potions. All right, doggy. Are you ready to be overpowered and armored? Sit and become OP. Become OP. Become OP. Become OP. I can't speak, but you know what I'm saying. You're now overpowered. And let's go test it out. Oh, no. Giant pit of lava. Whatever would happen if the dog went inside of it, but he has... Come on, it's for the video. Just do it. Yes, look, he's in and he's okay. Armored dog, check. Now get back up here, experimental dog. On second thought, you can stay down there. And just to top the build off, I built the armadillo's home, which is the savanna biome. Yeah, I just used path blocks for the savanna biome. That's the best I could come up with, but I think it looks pretty good. But ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our final mob option. Introducing Mr. Penguin. And for this guy, I'm actually gonna build his habitat first, because what could possibly be cooler than making a giant icy snowy mountain? Oh, wait, I just realized our penguin Penguin's gonna be eaten by polar bears if they get added to the game. That would be kind of morbid. But carrying on, let's grab some snow and make a giant mountain. Hey, hey Mojang, in 1.21, can you make it so I can auto break glass like this? 
thanks. All right, back to work. All right, little buddy is gonna go right over here, which means I gotta do a little more terraforming, as I've done all episode today. Now we make the barricades. Aw, I gotta extend the land out even more. I hate terraforming so much. I hate so much. Okay, it's iceberg time. Okay, so I'm thinking we do the outside of like snow. Then as we get to the middle, we'll kind of build up and make like a little iceberg shape up here. I like it. And Mr. Penguin can go right up here on top. All right, penguin blocks. Weirdly enough, I think obsidian is actually a pretty good penguin color. Just combine that with some white wool and we should have a pretty good design for this bad boy. Wait, actually, I probably need some other blocks too. You, you, and you. All right, penguin time. So we're gonna make his little orange feet, make his giant white belly, and of course, give him his shiny black coat using obsidian. Well, obsidian's not black, but close enough. So I kind of see the vision, but it's definitely lacking some details right now. What block would go well with obsidian? Hmm. In the past, I have been called a maniac, but this time I think I'm on to something. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I think it's perfect. All right, do you mind? Oh, I'd prefer not to die today. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get out of here. All right, let's smack some of these cherry wood logs on like the wing like this. And I'm also gonna sprinkle in a little bit of white concrete on his belly. Oh yeah, kids, that is why a little color variation here and there makes a big difference in your builds. Building tips with Farzy. And last but not least, we had to build the penguin's adorable little head. And these weird macaroni eyebrow things they have. He's perfect. But as far as his function goes, their only feature is supposed to make make boats go faster, so I'm just gonna put a boat there and call it a day. Hello, zombie. Yep, this was not part of the planned features. But okay, all three mobs are complete. But before I decide which mob I'm gonna vote for, I gotta take care of something really important. Last episode, I said if the video got 10,000 likes, I would blindfold myself and try and survive in a mine shaft for one whole day. And you guys just barely missed it, but it was close enough, so I'm gonna do it anyways. So off we go. We're just gonna need a clock and obviously a mine shaft, which should be around here somewhere somewhere. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, it is officially challenge time. So basically, I'm gonna set a timer for 20 minutes, which is the equivalent of one day in Minecraft. Then I'm gonna blindfold myself and try and survive without dying, because that's how survival works. Also, that means I don't even need a clock. I don't know why I brought this with me, because I'll be blindfolded. All right, let's go. Armor on, blindfold on, somehow get headphones in my ear. Okay, am I moving? I'm moving. Okay, let's do this thing. Timer, start. Okay, I hear wood. Now I hear stone. Okay, I need to get a pickaxe out so I can break blocks. Where's my pickaxe? Wait, is that it? That's a pickaxe. I don't hear sounds anymore. Am I stuck on something? I think I'm stuck. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't think this challenge through. I don't really know how to do anything right now. Okay, now I'm going straight. I can hear blocks moving. This is awesome. Uh-oh. I hear mobs. I need my sword. Where's my sword? This is an axe. So that should be good. Uh -huh. Oh, I hear mobs. Uh, it's in front of me. Uh, 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 no. I don't know what's happening. Oh, I killed one. Are there more? I gotta eat. I gotta eat. How do I eat? How do I eat? Eat, 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 eat food. Uh, what is going on? Uh, they're still in front of me, but where are they? Go. Oh. Nope, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I, I failed, I failed. I will not die to a creeper because I'm blindfolded. I'm sorry, I failed the challenge. I'll do whatever you want. Nope, nope, nope. Get me out of here. Bye. Well, that was not great. So to make up for my sad excuse of a like challenge, I want you guys to comment your best like challenge ideas down below. And if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will pick my favorite and do it. Make it really scary and hard. I deserve that. Like the video. But okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us to pick our favorite mob that we're gonna vote for at the mob vote. And I've officially decided that I'm gonna vote for... Eh... Ah, I can't choose. They're all so cute. But I do love the ocean, so I'm going to vote for the Krabby Boy. Look how adorable he is with his big eyes and his giant belly. I love him. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you all vote for your favorite mob. But that being said, that's going to be it from me. So make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.